Good morning. Our devotion this morning will be coming from Luke chapter 17, verse 11 to 19. And it came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. As he entered into a certain village, met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. They lifted up their voices, said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. It came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. Jesus answered and said, Were there not then cleansed? Where are the nine? Are not found and return to give glory to God, say this is stranger. He said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee. Let us pray for me. Almighty God in heaven, we praise and thank you for another day that you have given to us. Another opportunity to continue on serving you and glorifying you. This morning, guide us and lead us that we may know the will and purpose for us. As all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. devotion this morning. Give glory to God. Glory to God. Know the story. Uh, this is a very common story in the Bible, but we can learn a lot. Uh, we can learn a very important lesson here. You see, these are peppers. There are ten of them, they are lepers, and we know uh, being a leprous, being a leper, you cannot live a normal life. Uh, you, you are separated from unity, and uh, uh, you are an outcast if you have that kind of disease and you can see uh, in verse 12 it says as he entered a certain village there met him ten men that were lepers which stood afar off stood afar off these leprous people understood uh, that they, ha they are to be away from people that doesn't have the kind of disease that they have so we were far from the Lord Jesus Christ and it this reminds us this reminds us of our selves before we uh, save so uh, it reminds us of Isaiah um, chapter 64 of verse 6 it says there but we are all we are all a clean thing. All our righteousnesses are as filthy rags. No, we are all as a clean thing. We know that uh, we are worthy and we avoid God all the time but it's be for God because of God's mercy the way the Lord Jesus Christ showed to these ten lepers because of God's love and mercy these leprous people healed and it's like us because of God's grace and our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, we were cleansed 
for the death of the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. We, uh, we thank God for uh, salvation in the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, we have to give glory to God. Give glory to God. You know, we are in this um, worldwide problem right now. In fact, we are into another lockdown and some of us could move freely the way we want to, used to. But, you know, we are, still have to give glory to God. So why? Because God still allow us to have this life to continue on having the opportunity to serve Him in any way we can. These problems or these worldwide problems may give us a little bit of space or freedom but we can still something to God. We are to give glory to God. The strength that we have right now, give glory to God. The fact that you are still alive, give glory to God. The food that you are, the food that continually being provided, give glory to God family that are still alive, give glory to God. Who are still normal, uh, thinking normally, give glory to God. We can still earn, glory to God. You can still exercise, you can still move, you can still listen, you can still see, you can still talk, give glory to God. These people, these leprous people, can imagine how they live their life, being um, an outcast. There's nothing they could do. They could not go around. They just had to stay there, to wait till they there. Yeah. You know. Give glory to God because God is so giving us opportunity to give glory to God. Morning, this is Bishop Albert Yes. <laughs>